Today we're having uh, Nissan South Africa out here. We're having the management team come out and join us. And uh, the objective really is to introduce them to our world, uh, a world of adventure, uh, the great outdoors, and our big V8 Nissan Navara. Yeah, Redline Motorsport, we, uh, we are a business that uh, concentrates on the big outdoors. So whether it's two wheels, four wheels, it's all about adventure. Uh, the basis of our, our business really is our, our big V8 Nissan Navaras. And uh, really what we offer corporate South Africa is uh, a ticket you can't buy. That, and that is a, a ride, a day out, and whether it's a, a management breakaway, whether it's a CRM strategy, whether it's a product launch, it's just a day with a difference. And uh, that's really what we do. We uh, bring guys out and uh, we put them into our world. We strap them up, uh, we take videos, and we really just give them the experience of a lifetime. I think it's definitely one of my bucket list adventures. I'm uh, looking to forward to, to, to enjoy the, the cars and everything and looking forward to, to enjoy the experience. Some fun and excitement, I reckon, the photos and the videos that we just saw. I think it's going to be exhilarating. I think I might yell and scream like a little girl. I really do expect that that's going to happen. But uh, hopefully some <laughs> entertaining footage afterwards for you guys. We'll see. But I think these cars are really going to perform and I'm looking forward to actually experiencing it with the drivers. We've never done 4x4. I'm a, I'm a track guy. I've been on racing track. I can go karting, but four wheels on the sand or the gravel, I've never done it. This car looks fantastic. They would big match me, but what I want to wait what this machine can deliver, and I will tell you after. Born in Le Mans, bred in Le Mans, and I've been a racing driver, so I'm, I'm feeling my comfort zone now. I don't think comfort is a word. Nervous, yes. <laughs> Quite intimidating, because uh, it's a very intimidating vehicle. But excited. I'm a little bit nervous, but very excited because, I mean, I'm hearing what the guys are, are saying when they get out of the corner, and uh, yeah, it seems very exhilarating, and uh, I can't wait, actually. I know there might be a chance to do seconds. I'm having seconds. I came hungry. <laughs> I've driven them a few times, but I've never been driven. So today is my first ever uh, to be driven by someone else. So it's going to be an experience. Uh, but I'm uh, looking forward to it. Yeah, it's something I've been, I've been wanting to do, but uh, let's, let's see how it goes. I'll tell you afterwards whether I'll be driven again or be driving one of the two. of the car, the work with the red light has done a chassis, absolutely awesome. I have the engine, I've been racing car with big engine, engine is amazing, torque is amazing, but the ending of the car and the confidence of the driver, you are actually at peace. I have enjoyed every single second and piece of it. I can't wait to go back in. <laughs> if you ever in your life want to check all the things on your bucket list, this is a must do. This was the fork. I can't even feel a C. I can't can feel a vice in my own broek. I can't even feel a C. I can't feel a word of it. I can't even be a I can't be a myself do it. So, my anyway. It was awesome. <laughs> it really was so cool. You cannot expect that a car can do that and not flip over. <laughs> I'm just going to say that. That amazes me. It's so cool. I think now I'll buy myself an Evora and go off roading a little bit. So <laughs> no, these cars did an amazing job. It's, it's truly impressive and impressive what they did to the cars as well to handle the conditions that we were in now. Yeah, look, it's always for me the funniest thing to look at the, the, the passenger inside the car. The first is that overwhelming shock uh, and then a little bit of communication coming out as you go into the track and then some are silent. I had uh, a silent one and I had a screamer and I had a laugher. They all look uh, quite unique, but the, I think the end result is that that surprise of what a car can do and how really realistically is when you get inside the car and when you stand outside, it doesn't give you the same justice. So only when you've been in the car, you can see the appreciation, you can now understand the customer now associates with you with a lot, with a lot more directly because he's got that experience. And for me, the best thing you can ask for because you know, the smile on the face is like giving sweets to your children. Uh, you, you can see them enjoying it all the time. That was awesome. That was amazing. It's an amazing experience. Words cannot describe it. Words cannot describe the experience. It's just, yes, it's something else. <laughs> 
from giggling like a, like a little schoolgirl to just all out screaming, clapping, shouting, fist pumping, everything that you could think of. But it was all positive. Every single one of the passengers thoroughly enjoyed it. Incredible experience. And I think I can't believe that how far the technology's come. And I think it's certainly something that is an absolute must for everyone to try. It's, it's one of those memorable experiences that until you've done it, you won't appreciate what it's all about. And more importantly, what the car and driver are capable of doing. So great experience. And yeah, I'll be back. Make no doubt.